On the morning of May 13th, the Wayne State Physicians Group and members of Axis Community Health met with Sterling Heights essential workers to provide them with COVID-19 serology antibody testing. It's called a serological test where they look for the antibodies in the blood to see if you were infected by the COVID virus over the last several months uh, and maybe didn't know it or maybe had symptoms you didn't think were COVID. So they'll uh, come through, get registered. I, a lot of the sites that we go to, they'll have a pre-registration that they do on their phone. Uh, we just simply uh, confirm that they've arrived. Uh, we print off their labels. Uh, one of our phlebotomists will come and double check their name, date of birth, uh, and verify that uh, the spelling's correct. Uh, and then we'll just go through and do a, a vena puncture, get a, now a two milliliter blood sample, and then we uh, centrifuge it down to a serum and uh, that serum gets processed at a uh, central laboratory and they'll de determine if there's antibodies present. What we hope to find out is just the extent to which our first responders uh, and our critical essential employees have been exposed to the virus and how many of them have been infected. Uh, what we hope to be able to do with that information is kind of extrapolate it out and determine uh, how widespread the, the virus is in our community and in our essential workforce. So, we don't hope people have been infected, but if they have been infected and their symptoms were mild or so mild they didn't even know that they had it, that's going to be useful information for the scientists and the doctors and for our city to determine whether it's safe to reopen uh, other aspects of our, of our city hall and library and things like that. Typically when people have a exposure to a virus, um, their body will start to create antibodies as a, you know immune defense for uh, a re-exposure. We still don't know what that immunity means, what the antibodies mean. We don't know if that's a six month immunity, we don't know if that's a year. I mean, typically with the flu virus, once you have that strain and your body's detected it and it's created antibodies, you typically don't get that strain again. Over the past few months, our community's leadership has worked hard to make sure that our essential workers remain safe while on the job. Well, early on, uh, we took a lot of precautionary measures. We changed our response plans to, you know, ask the public to meet us on the front porch if they're sick. Uh, we've been making direct contact with the public on cell phones right after they call 911 to ask them, do some screening to find out if they were potentially COVID related. That changed our PPE. Uh, we, did, we had a limited amount of PPE early on, so we didn't want to use the N95 masks if we, if we could avoid it. We took some pretty drastic steps. Uh, we, we disbanded our roll call. Roll call is that start of every shift. We have about 15 officers sitting in a room. We talk about what's going on in the city. That was instantly canceled. Our officers now come into the basement their health screen, they're giving their key, their vehicle bag, and they go outside. So we have really no contact. Um, we have uh, conference calls and meetings with our staff via Zoom. Um, our office areas are staffed with just the minimum number of people in order to push the paperwork from A to B, and that's worked. We've only had two officers out of the 151 sworn officers that we have, two officers tested positive. Uh, we have a few other officers that probably had it, but the test came back negative because the testing's been so inconsistent, but only two positive tests in all this time, so I think our measures that we put in place really did work and kept our guys healthy. We are working as hard as we can to get us back to normal. Uh, we're doing everything that we can to resume some sense of normalcy here, but it's gonna take some time, and we want your patience. We want you to know that we're doing everything we can to protect our frontline workers, our police officers, firefighters, healthcare workers, to make sure that they stay safe. And slowly, we're gonna get things back going here. We're gonna slowly start to reopen City Hall. It might be a while before you see those big concerts at Dodge Park, but we're gonna get there, and if we all pull in together, we're gonna get through this.